Hey guys, it's Joe. I am here today to talk about Halloween Horror Nights 2018. The whole idea with the video, I wanted to go vlog, but I'm not very good at vlogging. And it just got crazy and there was so much going around. This was my first year ever attending Halloween Horror Nights. If you guys follow me, you know my story with my anxiety and chronic panic disorder. It has like kind of paralyzed me in the past i want to say the past uh from doing stuff that i normally do so this year i had decided i was going to start doing a bunch of stuff that normally i used to do and you know just start doing stuff again so when it was brought up this year about uh doing halloween horror night i said you know what why not what's the worst that can happen <laughs> i did it and you know i'm glad i did it was not as scary or as bad as i thought it was gonna be guys it just what do you call it like um jump scares <laughs> yes definitely they're great for that and i was telling myself don't be scared this is all pretend this is all fake the only thing that got me was the night before going to halloween horror nights i was psyching myself up okay you know getting a little nervous but telling myself you know don't be scared or whatever and i'm watching tv and this commercial comes up about a movie that pretty much is something like halloween horror nights it's like a scare amusement park <laughs> I'm like freaking out like oh my god so i just started thinking about like halloween horror night and i'm like oh my gosh so i prepped myself the day of you know i took some xanax before i went i don't want to get a panic attack i took another xanax in the bathroom and i was all ready to go and i went the first night i went with my husband we are in a crazy scare zone there is some crazy guy right here trying to creep up on sabrina we got the rush of fear passes which is usually the first two weeks of October the first time I went with my husband that was a Friday night and then Saturday I went with my daughter and then the next two weekends it was Friday Saturday Friday Saturday I went with my daughter and my friends the time I went my goal was only just to do one house and it was gonna be the stranger things house there's, there's the stranger things look at look at look at look at Alright guys, so this is the line for Stranger Things. I'm really hoping. I love that show. I watch first and second season, waiting for the third season. And it's not a very scary show. It's, it's very sci-fi. So I was like, okay, the house can't be very scary. Okay guys, so I did my first house. I did the Stranger Things house and it was in the upside down world. I'm sweaty because it's freaking hot. Ooh, it was good. It was intense. I don't know. I thought I was only gonna do two houses today, but my husband's trying to convince me in doing uh, the Halloween house. The Halloween house. And so I'm really thinking I'm gonna do it. We'll see. Wish me luck. I'm like freaking out. Okay. I was feeling a little brave that I was like, okay, how about a ride? Guys, and I haven't done a ride in a while. <laughs> I've been, like I said, been doing things here and there, and I have gotten on rides and stuff, but like roller coasters, I haven't done in a while. Just because I did get a really bad panic attack a few years ago in the Harry Potter ride. Anything that gets really, really dark and, and stuff, I, I try not to do. But I was feeling like pumped after doing the Stranger Thing house that I was like, I can do this. So I ended up doing the mummy, which is like an indoor roller coaster. Get out of here! The curse is real! This whole place is a trap! He's out of your soul! Yeah. I shall rule for all eternity. It 
was fun guys you know and I mean I've always loved that ride I was just always scared oh my god what if I end up getting a panic attack and this all went down after I had several really bad panic attacks where sometimes I, I wake up and I'm in the hospital or blank out I'm in an ambulance and we wake up and there's people around me and I don't know what the heck happened so <laughs> That's what I was scared about. Like, oh my God, am I gonna get banned from, you know, the mummy now because I can't get on the Harry Potter ride no more. You know, it's on my ticket and they said I can't get on that ride because of what happened last time. But anyways, it was fun. I had a great time, did the mummy. After that, I was like, you know what? Let's go, let's do this. So we did a few more houses. So the scare zones were good. It was one that reminded me of like the headless horseman. <laughs> pumpkins and stuff guys on stilts with pumpkins i took a couple pictures and i really like that one just because i like the headless horseman i used to like that cartoon growing up and it just it was kind of cool that one was my favorite scare zone then they another scare zone over by the simpson ride area um it was just a bunch of chainsaw guys and guys <laughs> my daughter okay when i went with my daughter me and her made a pack and we said, okay, no one gets left behind. If we go into houses, don't leave nobody behind. If whatever, don't leave nobody behind. So we were like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. That girl left me, okay? Left me. Daddy, I told you, don't leave me. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? We had a pack. We made a pack. I'm scared of chainsaws. Twice you left me. You can't act scared. What what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> what what do you have to say? That he's scary. Some chainsaw guy came after her and I told her the, the thing is you don't you make eye contact with them and if they see that you see them, they're not gonna come and scare you. Or you gotta act like all happy like you were scared. Okay, if you start looking at them and you're looking all scared, they're gonna come after you, okay? And this girl just ran off. And I'm looking around, and I wasn't even scared because of the chainsaws. I was scared because I couldn't find my daughter. And I'm looking around, I can't find her. All I see is a bunch of people, a bunch of guys running around with chainsaws, and I can't see her anywhere. Daddy, how'd you like the house? Were you scared? It wasn't scared? that scary. It wasn't that scary. It was like, it was pop out. Yeah, it was. Right there, there is one. You see him? Right there, right there, you see him? Okay, don't look, don't look scared. That's when they come at you. Oh, how are you? Hello, hello. Hi guys, don't kill us. <laughs> Where'd she go? Where'd she go? It was nighttime and I'm freaking out looking around for her next thing you know i hear mom mom <laughs> really far away and i look and i see her she's all the way at the end of that scare zone after that she she did run away a couple more times but she didn't leave me in the houses the killer clowns from outer space just not scary i mean it was a cool scare zone but it wasn't scary at all it was cool for, to take pictures uh Maybe if they had their face painted as like clowns, like maybe like Pennywise, that would be kind of scary. But no, this was just like a whole body costume and it just wasn't scary. Chucky, Child's Play Zone. Oh, 
telling me? I could always just follow you to the parking lot. Yeah, what Hooters do you work at? <laughs> what do you do for your job? Jerry's supposed to go like this. They had like a 1985 kind of uh, scares them. Oh, come to the stage right now. It's New York City's finest music. Y'all make some noise for Patricia White. single scare zone the only two scare zones that totally freaked me out was of course the Michael Myers scare zone I mean house which was a Halloween 4 house growing up I was always scared of the, the boogeyman we called him because every year around Halloween you're watching TV and all of a sudden that song you know and and I would always like get up and change and that sucker man he's slow He's not like Jason, where Jason's a fast walker. He don't run, but he walks after you real fast with machete. You know, Michael Myers uh, walks really slow, but he be popping up everywhere. If you watch the movie, <laughs> you know that you could be like running, outrun him, and all of a sudden you open the door and there he is. So I, I, I was always scared of Michael Myers. But anyway, so I did that house. And that was the only house that I almost got a panic attack in, guys almost okay because it just felt like a never-ending house just when you thought it was done it wasn't done it was like in the movies where he pops out of everywhere and then you think he's gonna pop out of here so you're like okay we're good he didn't pop out of there but he pops out of here and at one point my daughter her and i walking like hand in hand she got her arm around me and she pulls back we kind of knew he was going to jump up because the people in front of us we try to stay close to them so we can see when something jumps up and then we try to avoid it by walking really close to them but this time it didn't work out that way we knew something was going to go down and we're kind of taking our time but you got to keep moving because there's people behind you and so she kind of pulled me back and <laughs> when she pulled me back he jumped out and I screamed, lost my balance, fell on her on the floor. Yeah, got back up and he hides and whatever. So yeah, so I fell one time. I did hit two people. <laughs> I hit somebody in, I think the name of the house was the Slaughterhouse. And that one was super scary. That one in the Halloween house, to me, were the both scariest houses. And my daughter agrees with me. The Slaughterhouse, okay, <laughs> kind of cool theme it's like a drive-in theme and when you're in line it looks like you're at the drive-in and it has the big screen and it's showing all these corny 80 movies it's just scary and just it just really they did a really good job with that house i try to record in these houses oh, somebody's gonna come out of there the door is open but they kept telling me to put the camera away and you know there's in these houses there's workers like hiding in each corner and if they see you the camera they tell you to put it away and one guy followed me telling me to put it away and I had my phone so the quality is not that good and I was trying to hide it but it's kind of dark and hard to record so yeah but I did get a few things but that house freaking creeped me out I slapped a woman on the boobs which was an accident she came out and I, I went like this you know so it's not like I slapped her like when I went like this I hit her in the boobs and I saw her like break character and she was like what the heck and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry sweetie and then she was like it's cool and went back in the wall now the other one that scared me was in the Michael Myers house okay that sucker came out from the top okay I'm over here thinking he's gonna come out from over here or over here and no nothing came out and all of a sudden he comes up from up here and when he came up from up here I went ah! threw my hand up and slapped him in the face he was like oh 
<laughs> and I was like, oh my God, sorry. And he, he went away. So, you know, both times it was an accident. It's not like I purposely punched somebody or anything. I'm glad I did it. I will definitely do it again next year. The Portuguese, Slaughterhouse, Halloween, Stranger Things, 10 Houses, Fairy Tale, like Horror House, Army House, Happy Death Day, The Purge, Together in a House. I did get a little bit of that house. <laughs> So that's, I think, seven. Oh, like a, a clown carnival kind of thing. But anyway, guys, that is it. That is my video. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to click on that subscription button. Click on that notification bell so you know when my videos are popping. Don't forget to drop a like, guys. And as always, remember to be blessed. Peace out.